opportunity also. Uh, with more than 90% of all businesses' records now generated electronically, uh, there are innumerable opportunities to tamper with electronic records. So meaning that have the chance we have the opportunity to uh, sorry my neighbor called to tell me that uh, we can no longer pray in the masjid again they open up for almost like one week ago so from today close already because covid in Klantan has increased increasing but may allah help us all inshallah from this all right so this opportunity because as he said most of our records now are in the electronic format okay not no not in the hard copy Electronic format is easily to be tampered with. Somebody can change information to claim that the records belong to them. So as a company organization, you must bear this in mind and be very, very careful. Perhaps you may try to adopt this password, eh? password. You may use password to, to protect your documents. That's another way to do it. Eh? Okay. So nowadays, Forging or tampering with electronic record is easy to do and difficult to detect. People are very good at that, okay? So bear in mind, as a company, make sure your records are well kept with security, password, okay? All right, there are many, uh, a lot of things we can add to the record so that people cannot simply open it. It will ask for a password. Of course, as you know, uh, because uh, the record is in the electronic format, at times it is uh, it can come within the reach of anybody in the organization because it's decentralized. Okay, so this also poses a risk, a risk to senior executives. All right, so perhaps make sure that your records, which are in electronic format, are not uh, should be placed within the what do you call it in a special server or special repository whereby only the senior executives can have access don't make your records so open to all in the organization so because of this senior executive must be ready to always uh, prove that this records actually belong to them all right uh, okay Otherwise, somebody may claim it, and then you 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 lose your IP, you lose your intellectual property right. Imagine you build a technology and innovation for years. All of a sudden, another company claim to be theirs, and they win over you. All right. So this shows that uh, in the modern, of course, the new media has brought a lot of benefits to us. It also brought a lot of challenges and risk. All right, especially to do with our records and how we operate. So bear this in mind, eh? Okay, what are these logs and backing up? Backing up your data. Of course, I think in Malaysia also have got this, but in America, uh, of course, you can use electronic records, okay, in court. All right, so normally when you have this, uh, uh, what do you call it, El electronic record of an innovation or technology you develop yeah you always have this backing up and locks locks mean it shows how many time you assess the uh the what you call it the documents so you can bring all this in court as evidence to show that actually the record or documents belong to you okay so this means so you have to keep this electronic locks and frequently backing up electronic records is very very important okay so keep all the log the log meaning how many times you assess the document, what did you do to it, always keep this to show to the, in case of any legal issues, you can prove in court that it, it belongs to you. Okay, and this will include the file share, website, mail server. Okay, this is more of a computer language. So, 
for us here is to know what is going on so that we can be very careful of protecting our records of course in every company you have the it people right so they can help with all this so as a company also you have to be ready and prepare uh issue of litigation litigation here mean issue involving legal legal issue okay another company is claiming the right of a particular uh trade secret or ip intellectual property claiming to be bs so as a company you have to be prepared and ready for it for for court for court case and preparation meaning you have all the documents ready to prove in court that the order logs and backing up ready so always ask yourself whether you can withstand a data integrity challenge uh, are you litigation ready if you are then huh? so always have the right people in place to manage your electronic record management system and uh, like i said have the right people in place those who know how to how to manage the system keeping all the locks and backing up if anything happens all these records can prove that indeed the ip belongs to you okay uh, also involves education training and monitoring you have to educate your staff and the people in the organization must be educated on how to safeguard your intellectual property and how to be ready should in case there is any legal issues somebody claiming your ip and things like that okay and you have to train them training to be ready and also monitor monitoring meaning you monitor from time to time whether uh, how the workers are taking care or how they are safeguarding your ip you monitor what is going on monitor the staff the environment make sure that the trade secrets are not going out are not being leaked outside the company uh, educate and train eh? so this involves clear communication and repetition okay you communicate clearly to them about the importance of ip okay copy of policy intranet periodic training and audit etc uh, make known to them that disclosure of a ts ts here mean trade secrets trade secret may result in termination uh, meaning you are telling your staff that anytime they they anytime they reveal your trade secret to outside interest or any organization outside or anybody outside they are going to lose their job they are going to be terminated and or legal action or both both termination and legal action okay so then you have to what monitor compliance so you monitor that all the staff comply they comply here meaning they follow what the rules and regulation of keeping your trade secret okay so monitor compliance and also prosecute violators uh, those who violate your legal uh keeping your legal secrets those who in, uh, what they call it leak your secret or inform other third party other organization you prosecute them they violate the law must face the consequence of the law all right if somebody want to enter, let me check. How come today? What happened to the rest of the class? Absent or still sleeping? And also make sure you restrict access, uh, because, uh, like I said, don't make, uh, don't provide easy access of all your trade records. Okay, access must be restricted. This is very, very important. Restrict access to only those persons who need to know the information. Yeah, so to only those persons who need to know the information. Not anybody have to know. Uh, okay only those person who need to know. like i say in, in an organization you have the 
the people on top, the top management, senior management, okay? All right? And you are the CEO, so make sure that not all information is not made known to everyone, okay? So in the computer system also, limit each employee's access to data that is to be actually utilized or needed for a transaction, meaning that don't give them all the data. You have a lot of data, and then your employee or need this much for this work. So give only access to those data that is needed, not everything, not all the data. Okay, this is very important. Restrict access to important information regarding your company, trade secret, intellectual property rights, okay, innovation you've created, all right. Also, make sure the documents are, are well, uh, what do you call it? well marked, meaning well, uh, what do you, with well identified, which is which, okay? You know all the documents. So in doing this, help your employee recognize trade secrets, okay? So the those secrets, uh, documents involving trade secrets should be marked, should be identified should be made, uh, should be marked and separated, okay? Because what? Prevents inadvertent disclosure. We don't want your your staff to inadvertently disclose. Sometimes they disclose information without knowing. So always let them be aware. Huh? They shouldn't be simply talking about trade secrets to anybody or, or their friends. Okay, maybe the one you are talking to will, will copy it, will use the secrets to produce the same thing and later claim to be this, all right? So don't just talk about trade secrets outside the organization. And then also you have, you should have a uniform system of marking documents, okay? If paper-based, how to mark it? You have the paper-based maybe through files, you have important file, you have key, you, you, you can buy this, what do you call it? This locus, is it locus? This iron or is it iron? Iron or silver lockers. You can put all your documents, paper documents. You mark them. Perhaps this document should be in a special room, eh? Special room whereby they are locked. If electronic, also confidential button on standard email screen pop ups. So electronic documents also must have a conf confidential button, meaning how to assess a particular elect electronic, you know, what do you call it, trade secrets, which are in electronic format, how to assess them using confidential button or access. Only those who are supposed to know should know, all right? Like we mentioned earlier, make sure access is not open access, restrict access to those who really are supposed to use the document and don't give all information. Yeah, like I so physically isolate and protect. Yeah, you can do this also using the special rooms and the, all this iron. Is it iron? Iron lockers with special uh, code, okay, to protect your documents. Uh, we call them depository, yeah? separate log depository. Okay, you have authorized authorization here, yeah, meaning not you have the password, password authorization given to those who are supposed to have it, not everyone, okay? And access control, log of access, who are the people who are going to access this, all right? You can also use biometric palm readers, okay? Biometric palm readers. So people who are going to access this uh, log depository, a special room, you have all the lockers there, okay? Metal lockers or iron lockers you can use this technology whereby before they enter the room, they use their palm to a particular biometric reader, biometric palm reader, okay? So let's say the person is Mohammed, so only Mohammed can, Mohammed's palm can be read by the computer, by the palm reader, not everybody, eh? biometric palm reader will read certain hands which are authorized, certain palm which are authorized to enter the, the room. Also, surveillance of depository or company premises. Have some cameras around the company, the place where you put the important documents, 
you can also have security guards, eh? security guards, security people, okay? And also documents that you don't, you, uh, you have paper documents that you don't need, you they have information, you shred them. Shred them meaning you there are special machine whereby they cut, shred all the documents, then you can throw them away. They shred them so that people cannot read. So before you dispose of any fiscal document involving your trade business information, maybe you have a new one, the old ones, shred them, shred them, eh? shred. And also monitoring and oversight. Audit trail meaning you audit the documents, make sure every once in a while you do audit to make sure that all the procedure is in place. Procedure of safeguarding your documents are in place. You make some audit. And then restrict access to, faci to facilities. Yeah. Uh, don't allow anybody to go to your facility. Restrict access. Facility meaning uh, all the all the technology centers, all the documents area, what you have, your operation facilities, restrict access. So you have all the log. So anybody, anybody coming to your company have a visitor's pass, okay? And also the company should be visitors, eh? sometime NDCA. And make sure anybody who coming to your company is visible to anyone, okay? It's very important. And also monitor the conversation people are talking about to the visitors who are there. And documents left in plain view so that uh, when there is a meeting with any any of your staff with outsider, you know what they are talking about. So you monitor them, okay? Maintain computer secrecy. And this is very important. So when we talk about IT or computer system, all the software operating system, you know, website, applets, these are all the databases, computer secrecy. So all the technology you use for your for your company, make it keep it secret. Okay? Because if people know your technology, they may they can use they, they may able to hack your system. Okay? So your the your system, the database you are using everything, routers, equipment, make sure uh, the no outsiders should know. Okay, should know should because when they know your capability, your system or network, they may use they may be able to hack it. So better you don't expose it to people, maintain the secrecy of a computer system. And all the online transaction, anything you do online must be secure. Must secure meaning and the password, all the intranet, website, everything there is password. Okay. So password access control. I mean outsiders cannot simply have access to all the information or all the link in your uh, intranet or website. Also, you can mark confidential or secret, okay? So that the people cannot simply, uh, what do you call it? Use the information or try to access a particular place. Of course, the fiscal also, we mentioned the fiscal measures, isolate and lock computer tapes, this other storage media. You have a special room whereby you, special room with a locker, okay, access, using biometric palm readers only to assess the room. And be very careful of people bringing in external drives or USB ports, uh, because this this may have, so always monitor your, uh, don't allow people to use external drive or USB ports, because this may be used to copy information, uh, to copy inf or download information, uh, important or secret information into this pen drive and then use it against you or people will use it and claim to be BS.
also monitor all the remote access to servers. Of course, it's very important to have this firewall. These firewalls are computer technology that doesn't allow people outside outsiders to have access to your information. Firewalls. Also, don't forget your antivirus software and things like that. And also data encryption. When you encrypt your data, only certain people can have access. People cannot simply read encrypted data. Eh? They use computer language, encrypted data. Uh, what measures to take for your employees to make sure that they don't simply uh, leak or share the trade secret of your company? For new employees, always brief on protection expectation early. I always brief them. When you have new employees, give them some briefing to tell them what is expected of them as the as employee of the company organization in terms of protecting your company secret okay these are all things the, the, the whole idea is just saying that make sure you have a system in place whereby you bring the the new employees in, uh, okay, what to expect in terms of protecting the company's data and secrets. And they have to have agreements, eh? they have to sign agreements with you. Agreements saying that they are not going to disclose or they are not going to share or reveal your trade secrets or your internet, what do you call it? Uh, your IP secret or all the internet uh, inter intellectual property to any other third party or any other company or any other individual outside the organization. So they have to they have to sign the agreements. Eh? It's very important in the agreement. This agreement normally you can help have your lawyer help you to draft eh? your 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 legal. Uh, the company lawyer may help you to do what you call it to formulate this agreement all right so so you may have to it depends on you when you talk about non-disclosure confidential it may be defined by is it somebody by word of mouth through written so to be safe to be safe you include everything inside Speaking, telling somebody is also illegal, okay? Or maybe through writing also illegal, sharing documents also illegal. So everything your your lawyer may help you to design so that you safeguard your intellectual property. Yeah, so the issue now is, uh, can we allow or do we allow our employer, okay, when he when he stopped working from our company, move to another company, let's see if the company is in the same business with us, okay, the same business, that company become our competitor. Our company is dealing with, let's say, dealing with uh, what? dealing with food food chain eh? let's say kfc so if if our if any if anybody or our employer stop working from us and join can he join another company which uh called what maybe uh which name should we give maybe pfc for example okay pfc maybe or mfc malaysian fried chicken okay Kentucky fried chicken. So all of them are in fried chicken business. So it's our competitor. So may he work in related job. I don't think we can stop anybody from working. But then, like I said, even though he's not working with us, he cannot uh, share information he, he he got from our company, our our secret. He cannot share because he already signed an agreement with us. Okay. So I think. Uh, you cannot stop somebody from working with another company after leaving us, but then he has to make sure that he doesn't 
share all the information, our trade secret to our competitor. You cannot do that. Still measures for employees. Okay, we also will not allow our employees, all right, to do another consultation with another company. Okay, meaning they have to, they cannot just simply sharing information or working with another company. We are afraid that they may share our information they have, okay? away from company, all right? So we cannot take them away from our company to go to other third party company. Okay, we cannot, they cannot be solid, solid, solicited by another company, all right? So likewise also, non-solicitation of clients. For a period of after employment ends, prohibition on soliciting clients or customer away from company. The same thing also, you finish, you the new employees, we brief them, okay? Let's say when they stop working from us, for a certain period, they cannot simply deal with our company, company clients, or take them away from us. We have some period, grace period. They cannot do that. Who knows? Because it happens at times, our own staff, when they stop working from us, they will take our clients with them. Maybe this staff is very close to, the, to, the, to our customers or clients, you know how to deal with them. So anytime he or she stop working for us, they will take away from ex our existing clients or customers with them. So you have to have this legal uh, legal document, not allowing them, let's say, for a period of three years, for example, you cannot deal with our, you cannot take our customers from us. Okay? The customers with us, even though you know them, you cannot deal with them because Three, three years period, for example, okay? This is very important to safeguard our company also. Okay, how about current employees? Okay, we have to prevent them from inadvertent disclosure. Sometimes they may disclose information out of ignorance. They don't know they are disclosing information. So we have to always monitor them, brief them, train them to be careful in talking about the company's procedures or company's secret, okay? Maybe they may, on out of ignorance, okay? So be very careful what they say and where they say it. We have to train, educate, and monitor them. How about employees who are leaving us? Employee who are leaving our company, all right? So that is why we have to limit them access to the data. So as we know that, let's say they are they have one month or two weeks to leave, stop working with us. So we shouldn't allow them to have all the data like before. Okay? We also even escort them to their desk to make sure that everything in their laptop or they don't carry every any information from the company. So we do exit interview to make sure that the they don't go to and they don't bring our trade secrets or they don't share with their new employer okay so you may even write to the new employer to, to tell them that uh our we have agreement with our with our living departing departing employee he or she cannot simply share our trade secret or intellectual properties Yes, so before reassigning the computer of departing employees, okay, we make sure that we simply remove and secure the hard drive of key employees before reassigning their computers. Okay, so we don't also simply, uh, uh, okay, so their computers also, we make sure that we do some work there, all right, we remove all the hard drive okay from their laptop this step which is essentially pre-litigation preservation 
is cheap insurance, should it become evident months down the road that an ex-employee has successfully launched a competing business using the company's confidential information. So this is very, very important before your existing employee depart or stop working from you. Make sure that you check the, uh, you monitor the computer they are using. Okay? Because people sometimes, they work for you after three, four years, then they go out and start the same business because they have all the information, okay? Mm -hmm. So always monitor this. So always know that you always know you have the right to property, meaning intellectual property, IP, TS, trade secret. Every company has got its trade secret, eh? trade secret, and also investment. So all this is protected by law. So make sure that you talk with your lawyers and have a very, uh, what do you call it, documents to guide you how to deal with this. Of course, in terms of contract also, people are free to, to compete for contracts. Let's say there's a government contract, every company is free to to bid, eh? to bid this contract or to apply so that when they win the contract, it's awarded to them. It's whatever it is, do uh, operate under the existing legal procedure, okay, existing laws. Of course, people are free to work also as well, but your freedom to work has limitation. You cannot simply use the freedom to work and, uh, what do you call it, and misuse the IP and trade secret or investment information. Of course, India has the right to property, knowledge, experience, but all this is what? Uh, all this right is also have some limitation. Eh? Your right cannot encroach somebody's uh, uh, intellectual property or right to property for the company. Your right has its limit. Of course, you are free to trade and commerce, but then freedom of trade and commerce doesn't mean that you steal some trade secret of a company and use it as yours, okay? You steal and claim it as yours. You have the freedom to trade and but then this freedom as long as you don't encroach somebody's as right, okay? You, you operate legally and uh, the existing laws, then it's okay. Of course, we are supposed to have new uh, technology, we innovate, we, do, we bring out new procedure, new gadgets, new technology and creativity, okay? But in doing this doesn't mean we steal other people's, what, innovation, eh? No stealing, all right? Okay, you can innovate, but innovate, when we say innovate, bring something new, not something you take from others. That can be issue of law, legal issue. Uh, we also are prohibited to have unfair competition. Unfair competition meaning you try to use other means to bring down your competitor, okay? Bring them down, your competitor. That cannot be done. That is why even some time ago, Microsoft is being asked many questions because Microsoft sort of uh, dominate the computer, right? Microsoft. So all these are because in the business world, we promote fair competition. Fair, meaning every individual, every organization or company uh, has the right to compete fairly in a very open market, okay? Without any uh, monopoly, eh? monopoly by some companies. So we, we don't allow, okay? is uh, unfair competition is prohibited okay always monitor, monitor this unfair competition is prohibited you have to compete fairly meaning don't try to bring down or uh, the image of, of a company so that you want to bring up your image no that is unfair competition okay Okay, we have some jurisdiction. 
So when you have all these covenants or agreements, agreements normally must be reasonable, okay? It's binding. Like when you make a agreement with your customers or with your employer, okay? Must be reasonable agreement. Agreement that uh, you don't, uh, limited in time. You cannot say forever they have to abide by you. Let's say they finish, stop working for you, after three years, they can have their own company, the same business, for example. Okay, also limited in area. They can go to a different locality and do the same thing. You cannot stop them. So when you do this uh, covenants with your employee, don't make sure that you have some limitation. Okay, also limited in type of industry. All right. You also have some time to give a special compensation to employee who stop working for you so that he's not going to compete with you. Yeah, you have to give some compensation, all right? And you cannot simply rate the employer, you monitor them, rate their company, you know, all right? So so you have to have legal law, uh, law in place so that when your staff existing staff stop working for you for how many years he or she can open the same business okay in which area in which industry so all this is made clear right so that both the employee the departing employee and the organization uh is treated fairly okay all right so that no one is been uh how do you call it? No one is being uh, uh, more treated. Eh? So we have this in mind. You're supporting staff, you're your living staff, they are leaving you, So, but you have everything in place, okay? Limited in time. How long they can stay without opening the same company? Let's say they are working in Kuala Lumpur. Can they go to Manila and open the same company? Maybe in Manila, different environment. So your agreement or your, leg your legal, this one, must be have limited limited place and time. It depends, unless the company is international company, multinational company like McDonald's, KFC, yeah. Nobody can open McDonald's the same name and claim to be his, yeah. They have this international, multinational corporation. So this another also different law governing that. Uh, Measures for third parties. Now, this third party are those people who are uh, who are outside the organization, whereby your employees at times share information with them. Okay, sometimes information sharing by your employee is for exploitation. They exploit them. I mean, they use the information shared by your staff to third party. Third party meaning other companies, other organization. You are the first party as the company owner. Second party may be your existing employer, all right? So all this can be consultant, financial advisors can be third party. So have to have some measures in place on which information to share with them, okay? So you have to limit, you have to have confidentiality agreement eh, with them, all right? Also limit access on need to know basis, I meaning, uh, you only give access to what is supposed to know at a particular time. You don't share every information, okay? Only share information that is that is required at a particular time. So limit access on need to know basis. So when they need to know this information, you share that part. Don't share everything, all right? And also make sure confidentiality agreement is in place, all right? You have and the NDA means what? Non disclosure agreement eh, nda none I mean they cannot simply share information they receive from you to third party so you have to have this they cannot disclose and share so none disclosure agreement is very important nda but what are the challenges certain aspects of business or products cannot be maintained as basically ah, see certain aspects cannot be maintained information or technology that must be disclosed to the public in order to market the product information or technology that must be disclosed 
to the public. Ah, this one is not trade secret. You want to sell, uh, you want to sell your product, yeah, to market it. You have to have information about the product. Let's say you are selling this computer. You have to mention, oh, this computer can do this. We have this in the computer. Use this material. It's user friendly. All the materials uh, are good. They don't cause cancer or any disease. Okay. Or uh, they are tested material. They don't. Sh they don't have any uh, chemical problem to the to the to the users. So certain information you have to really uh, what it make it open to the users. Okay. And what is the response? So what is the alternative or additional protection for trace secrets? Trace secret, TS. Make reverse engineering difficult. Meaning that uh, compile code. What they are saying is that uh, uh, your, the code you use for your product or IP or innovation, okay, uh, you, you create in such a way that other people cannot simply uh, do the same thing that you have done, okay? All right, reverse engineering, meaning they cannot start, they cannot simply look at your product, dismantle it, and do likewise, reverse engineering, yeah? From the end product to the new product, reverse engineering. We have the product already is end product, but we want to do likewise, so we start, we call reverse engineering. Normal engineering starts from scratch, okay? Reverse here meaning you take the same product, dismantle it, and try to do uh, similar product. So make sure that uh, your products cannot be simply undergo reverse engineering by another company. You cannot just take your product, dismantle it, and do something else. So you have to have all this code in place. So you can use what? Technological protection measures, like patents. When you have patents, people cannot do the same thing. You, you patent it, all right? You, you have you pay money, you have the right legal document or, or copyright protection. Like for example, people cannot simply have KFC or McDonald's without going through the McDonald's company and they become what? Franchise, eh? is it franchisee? Eh? Franchisee for McD. You cannot simply have a, a food, 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 what do you call it? A restaurant and put Mac, McDonald's or KFC there. You see the, everything the same thing. No, you cannot do that. Like for example, trademarks, Coca-Cola trademarks. You cannot simply have Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is a trademark by a particular company who manufacture Coca-Cola. So these are how, these are what you can do to safeguard and protect your trade secrets. Okay. Okay, that's all for today. We have another uh, 12 minutes. You have important information to make here. Are you listening, anybody? Wake up from your sleep. Are you listening to me? Yes, bro. Uh, bro. Okay, oh. yes, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, bro, yes. I have a question regarding the, the, the topic just yes, now. Okay, all right. Uh, can I ask? Yes, can, can. Go ahead. Uh, uh, regarding the just now you said that the employee need to sign a non-disclosure agreement whereby when uh, he or she uh, uh, trans uh, been transferred to another company they cannot uh, disclose the information of that of the the previous company right yes. but how, how how can we know that they are actually disclosing our information how how can them them being charged of disclosing the information does it like when that particular company uh, is like uh, is if we can see that they are copying us, then only we can charge the, the that particular employee. Like how how can we know that that uh, that employee is dis disclosing our information? Because sometimes they, they talk among each other, but we don't know because we are not there. Yes, you, you okay. understand what? what I like? Yeah, yeah. What, what what you say is very true. Uh, we cannot simply uh, charge them or take them to court for saying that our previous employee have shared our trade secret. You can only know this when it becomes obvious, when we have reason to believe, okay? 
when we have enough reason to believe, then we have to go to court. So the court will decide. Yeah, you are right. We cannot simply charge them. We cannot simply know. But when we have reason to believe through information we are getting through the way they produce their new product, which is similar to our product, okay? Uh, with that, then we can we can bring to court and the court will decide. Yeah. It's difficult to know, but we can know from the way they are operating. Well, we have enough reason to believe. Yeah. Uh, Any okay, more questions? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Any I, more I questions? Have question. Okay, yeah, I have right. two questions. Okay. Uh, uh, can you like uh, explain more briefly about the meaning of doctrine of invertible disclosure? Because of what? I don't read really, uh, doctrine doctrine of invertible inver invertible disclosure. It's in your slide just now because I yeah, don't really the, get. Yeah, this doctrine it means that sometimes people disclose information out of ignorance like for example i'm talking to you about my company right uh i don't then i, I just say something which i shouldn't say okay meaning i say out of ignorance out of uh, not knowing that that information i'm sharing with you may may you may use the information against my company maybe you may use the information to do a similar product so we have to train our staff from just to, to mind they are talking to mind to mind what they say in with another company or individual so we call it something which they do out of ignorance they don't do it intentionally that's the meaning so we have to really brief that is what why we have to train our staff give them training brief them on what to say where and the meaning that they always should guard their mouth in talking about the company with other people otherwise they may end up revealing secrets which they don't intend to reveal out of ignorance that's the meaning okay, okay. Bro. okay. thank you my, thank my you. pleasure any more questions we have nine minutes more i have important information here uh, as we know our is it what do you call it our vice president uh is it mohammed nofa right uh, uh what do you call it sort of uh up, uh would like a uh, st step down okay and that day during the voting we had three we have we, we nominated three people and then we voted these three so zubeda was number one followed by Nawfal and then shafiq so since muhammad Nawfal is stepping down due to personal and other reason which we cannot stop him we have to respect his decision so automatically constitutionally uh mohammed shafiq will move to become the vice president so no shafiq no more in the uh, what do you call it no more in the 11 people in the secretariat shafiq now will be the vice president is shafiq here today hello shafiq uh, yeah i'm here bro okay yeah so you are can you let me see your face i don't know how you look like well, you, put, you don't put your camera on, eh? Always. Yeah, so Mohammed Shafiq will be our vice president now. Okay, Shafiq? Manadiani, to do it. So you are our, Mohammed Shafiq is our new vice president. Mohammed Shafiq Rizman bin Safri. Oh, sorry, bro. My, uh, Hello? I was a bit wrong. Wait a minute. No, it's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't worry. If no need, if no need to show if it's okay, no problem. So you are our new vice president, okay? Uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Because constitutionally, it's like that. Just like, just like sometime when you are playing football game, and then the opponent uh, withdraw, or maybe they found your opponent having some dubious means. So automatically they give you the, 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 the award. Let's say you compete with somebody, he want to be number one, but later he was charged with doping. Definitely because of the doping, the award will go on the next person. Yeah, because the other person is found doping. Let's say you play badminton two of you, your opponent won, but then later he tested positive to a banned drug. So they will give the award to you. So. Of course, in this case, something very, very positive, no negative. Mohammed Nofal has confided in me that uh, he wants to step down, so it's okay. We, we respect his decision. So, 
Shafiq is now the vice president. Okay? So that's all for today. So today, tonight you have... We have no, thank you. Yeah. Tonight we have rehearsal with the secretary, right? The committee rehearsal tonight. Uh, yes, Prof. And I. Yeah. Okay. Make, make sure you remind me, because maybe a lot of things I may forget. A lot of things we are doing now. So, so remind sure. me. Sure, sure, Prof. Okay. Um, Prof. Yes. Prof. Yes. Uh, Prof. I'm Rachel.